Hi, this is Craig from Innovate Web Media. I just wanted to take a moment to show you around WordPress Directory Ninja. When you deploy the standard directory, this is roughly what you'll see. So we've got a, a, a menu and a banner advertising header at the top. Uh, we've got the main search map below that and then underneath we've got a we've got a slider and underneath we have the the actual listings themselves headed by the premium and featured listings and then under those you'll see the the basic and free listings underneath uh, there's a couple of sidebars on the home page as well just giving further information making the whole directory much more like a portal and the fact that a, a blog is built into the system can make the whole thing a really great portal for your local area or indeed your niche okay so let's have a look at some of the features the main search map uh, you can use it to find a business by the business name the town that they're located in or the industry so these would be your categories uh, we can drill down further and uh, go for distances around uh, the user's position and the map itself each listing has a map pin and the map pin can be clicked on it will then zoom in further on the map and we'll have a few more details the business name address phone number and email address the image is uh, the main image is also included on there and then we can click to actually go to the listing the listing will then load this is the listing page for this particular business so it's not a featured or premium listing we can tell that because it has no color background and no ribbon which shows it as featured or premium so uh, this is a basic listing it's not a free listing because uh, it has some business details in here which the free listings don't get that op opportunity to put that in um, so this is a basic listing we've got an image at the top the name of the business some share buttons um, we can email this business and there's a claim this business listing button then got details of the business here so this is where they will put in details about what the business is about um, here's the contact address phone number and uh, if it's a featured or premium listing they can also add website profile uh, website address and social media profiles in this area underneath we have the location map and again this is interactive we can uh, zoom in we can move the map around um, we can choose to go down and look at the business location and the other thing we can do is to get directions to this business so underneath each uh, uh, listing detail is a button or a link called directions you just click that and tell it where you are and then click get directions and it will give you full directions to that address underneath there we have the photo gallery underneath the photo gallery in a featured or premium listing there would also be the videos underneath that is the contact form and the very last thing before the subscribe and related posts is the business reviews section so any reviews will be listed here and users can click to submit their review Now we've had a quick look at the main page of the site, the front page and the listings. Let's have a look at the 
submission form, the listing submission forms. We nip over to here and we'll just look at the free listing form first of all. So the default setup for this is when a free listing is put onto the system, the business gets to enter the business name, the address, the business email address, they can choose a category and add some keywords. And that's it for a free listing. There's no business description, there's no adding images, uh, it's just a very, very simple free listing. Now let's have a look at the basic listing form. We can see that a user can upgrade their listing at any time by clicking on this upgrade link. The pricing table is fully customizable so the features and pricing can be changed and each feature can have a tooltip when you hover the mouse over it. Now let's scroll down to the form data itself any and all of the fields can be customized so you can add or remove as many fields as you like. The basic form has some extra fields on it which we'll see here so we can also add a business description to the basic form and one main image. Now let's have a look at the featured form so we can see that the listing type is featured here and let's come down first thing you'll observe is that a whole new section is added now the website and social media section which allows the business to add their website URL their Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus and LinkedIn profile pages and more image uploads are available to a featured listing so the default in this case is three images but keep in mind that because you can add extra fields you could increase the number of image upload fields to say 10 for a featured listing or 10 for a premium listing. As a featured business there are more fields available here. So we now have a section for food menus, club membership fees, forms and class timetables, business videos, opening times and coupon offers. It can then open further so if a business wants to add a menu they would simply click yes and it opens the form again. Do you need to add a lunch menu? Click yes and there is a button for them to upload uh, a menu PDF. Same thing for the evening menu, children's menu and if they want to add another menu they can choose this option, add a name of that particular menu and then upload the file. Being able to remove fields is very useful. Take for instance a directory focusing on mechanics or car dealers in say California. That type of directory would have no need for food menus so they wouldn't need the food menus section. You can therefore simply delete the fields that do not relate to your market. Each field has a key which allows it to be displayed by a short code in the post customized content section. We will cover the post con uh, customized content in a different video. One thing I do want to mention about these file upload buttons, if I can just show you one again. So this particular button is allowing the upload of a class timetable PDF file. Now these fields that are available to you will allow business owners to upload a wide variety of files to their listing. 
you can include uh, PDF options, doc options, videos and sound files. It really is very versatile. You can also allow the business owners, as we saw, to name the files they're uploading. So that's very useful for menus and things like that. In our standard directory clones, we have the option for adding YouTube and Vimeo videos. If the owner then wants to add opening hours, if they choose yes to that particular question, they can then put in their opening hours here. And finally, at the bottom of the form are the coupon offers. So if the business chooses to add a coupon, they simply select yes and they can add the coupon name, the heading, the headline, sorry, the description, start and expiry dates and the coupon code itself. And we have allowed a default of three possible coupons on the form. But I keep going back to this, you can add and remove fields so you can always add more coupon offers. You could offer up to say 10 coupons to a premium listing five coupons to a uh, featured listing or you could just stick to the three that we've we've defaulted the whole thing to our tutorial videos will cover everything and include how to add extra fields and create extra coupon uh, options and everything like that on the forms finally we'll just have a quick look at the premium form so if I refresh this page and show you the premium listing type form you'll see that there are a few more image options so there's five by default for the product images and everything else in this case is the same. But you can change and add and take away things from the form and we'll cover that in our tutorial videos. Finally I just want to show you that the whole system works great in mobile devices. If we just reduce this right down you'll see what the site looks like mobile device so this site should give you every opportunity uh, to be able to create new leads in your business to create income to sell advertising space you can see the banner advertising on the site in the header there um, also in the sidebars so you have the opportunity to create ad income and listing income you could be doing featured editorials you could be promoting affiliate products um, there really is every opportunity to make money with this system what we want you to do is go out there have fun with it and use it in your business and please tell us about the successes that you have i hope you've enjoyed this video my name's craig lingard and thank you for watching this short video on WordPress Directory Ninja.